and welcome back. This is Bowser Scoob with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I'm joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sack, and when we last left off, we were doing side quests. And you might be wondering why we were doing some of these side quests. Here is why. We need to talk to the Moogle again, and we need to send some more mail. This time we are going to be sending it to Taka. Well, again. Does he say what I want him to say this time? Yes, he tells me about the Oracalcum. Ever told you about Oracalcum, the legendary metal? A rumor says that there is nothing that Oracalcum weapon can't cut, which is exactly what we want to hear. Wait, did I, did we ever look at the Mog House? Nothing. Please come here. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Never mind. Forget that. We need to wait another hour. There's going to be a lot of waiting hours in this one. Just, just, just a warning right now. Okay, it's been an hour again. Let's see if we can send more mail. This time we need to send it to Sid. What does he have to say about this? I bet we got to go through quite a bit for Sid. My first date with Mrs. Sid. I took Mrs. Sid to a village called Gasol on her first date. There isn't much to do there, but they sure can grow some great tasting veggies, and don't you tell me women aren't into that. I know, man. Every woman I've ever talked to, she's seriously into farming. What the hell is wrong with you, dude? There's another hour gone. Talk to the Moogle again. We need to send more mail to Sid. Yes. View it when you were babies. That is not the one I'm looking for. You for sure were a handful when you were toddlers. Y'all turned out okay in the end, or at the very least, you're all toilet trained. Except for Sackman. Sackman didn't make it like the rest of us. Yet another hour. Good lord. Does this game require a lot of work in order to get this these side quests done? I say it's this one, but. There are a few of them that require this kind of stuff. Something in the basement, that is what we're looking for. And this Sid came running up from the basement today, all scared like. She says she saw something big and lurking in the shadows. I hope we don't have a monster down there. I think this is a job for the Warriors of the Light. We must penetrate the darkness of, of Sid's basement. Hey, look, we're right outside Sid's house. What do you know? Uh, we're in Canaan. Yeah. Don't want to go far away. All right, this is this is Sid's house, if I remember right. He was in the top left. We need to go in here, and we're just gonna ignore them because who cares? We are here to fight the demon, the demon monster that is down here. Where are you? Get over here and fight, sir. Yeah, there's a secret passage. I thought I remember. Do I have to talk to him? But I have to talk to him. Fine. Apparently, demon hunting is not as easy as I remember it being. <laughs> I remember just coming down here and fighting him, but now apparently I have to go back up and talk to Sid, otherwise the demon doesn't show up. That makes sense. The monsters set up permanent residence in our basement, of course. If I were a bit younger, I'd take care of things via the business end of our rusty wrench. Too bad that these days putting on my socks is enough physical exertion for a good 24 hours. Anywho, that's where you come in. Could you take a look at what's down there? Me and the missus will be mighty grateful. Of course, thank you, old man. You be careful. Thank you, Mrs. Sid. You're very talkative, so... I didn't even see a cutscene or anything like that. Come on, where? There it is. We did have to talk to him. Do you guys recognize that in me? It's an Aeon. Look there! Prepare to be exterminated! Yeah, sweet. We get to fight something that we've been fighting a few dungeons. Oh, whatever. Fire. Let's go for meteor. And then we can do tornado. We can just attack. How much damage is Abel doing these days? 7,300 damage. Sackman, without a boost, is doing 6,400, and, and down it goes. We didn't even get to see our spells. 
which is too bad because I haven't had a chance to show those off yet. 3200 guild, 2500, and 50 experience. A job level up for Abel, job level up for Sackman. That's how they get the job levels faster than Bloon and Novin. What do you want me to say? Well, that was that. Look, there's something on the floor. You grab it. I've never seen metal like this mentioned in any books before. I've read all the books. Obtained unknown metal. I wonder what it could be. Ugh. Now we need to go find the, the legendary blacksmith. Who I believe is still in northwestern Seronia, if I am mistaken. I will correct myself right on the other side of this. Before I forget, actually I did forget, and this pissed me off and... And I ran around for a long time trying to figure out what I did wrong. You you need to talk to Sid before you leave, Kanan. I sound a little upset. That's probably because I forgot to do this. Your basement certified pest free, Sid. Splendid. I hope Excess's force was utilized. What's that you're carrying there? It's a piece of metal that the monster dropped. Well, I'll be. It's Auric Alchem, a very rare metal indeed. There's only a handful of smiths in the world who could temper it. It's even out of Taka's league. Actually, we know someone who might be interested in this. Oh, so? Already making connections, eh? Anywho, thanks for dropping by to help us. Any good luck? And good luck on your journey. Yes. So now that it's identified as, a, as the Oracalcum, we need to go find the legendary blacksmith who is in a random location. She is not in northwestern Saronia and I will meet you there. The blacksmith is in Falgabard. Do you guys remember Falgabard? The place with all the dark nights where we learned about dividing enemies and all that good stuff. She is here. Right to the east of the weapon shop. How are you doing? I found some oracalcum for you. Is this what you were looking for? Yes, yes, that's unmistakably oracalcum. I didn't think I'd ever lay eyes on it. Thanks for bringing it to me. Mind if I start working on it? Do as you wish. You hand over the Aurichalcum. Awesome. This is going to be quite the challenge indeed. And then she struts off screen, knowing full well that she is going to accomplish her task. This isn't the first time we've gotten Aurichalcum. You guys remember that, right? I was expecting you. I've succeeded in tempering Aurichalcum. We've just been staying here this whole time. I don't know where you think we went. The result is my best work yet, if I may so say so myself. Here, it's yours. As promised, use it well. And re we have obtained Ultima Weapon. I will now continue my travels, seeking new metals to temper and all that. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere. That is a whole nother side quest that I will not get into right now. See ya. Thank you. It took forever to find you. Okay, can Abel equip it? That is that is the big question that I have right now. No, no, it's pretty much knights and I think warriors and and onion knights, but unfortunately he cannot wear it. Uh. Okay, with that side quest done, there are a couple more side quests that I will take on, but. Doing those side quests now would make me incredibly overpowered for this last dungeon here. So I'm going to do this dungeon first, and then bonus episodes with the other dungeon, all the, the, the job level ups, all the you know max level, all that kind of stuff. We'll tackle that in bonus videos. Just for the record, here is my party. We do have uh, level 53, 54. Right around there. We should get to level 55 by the time I reach the top. Uh, that is that is pretty much where I'm aiming for right now. We have Abel at job level 41. Uh, Novin is a Magus, level 31. Devout, level 28 for Bloon. And Black Belt, level 41 for Sackman. Let's go ahead and go back inside the Crystal Tower this time. We are taking it on for real. We are not just going to Eureka here. We are headed... Headed for the top. If we go around the left side here, we get a Chocobo's Wrath. And then if we head over to the right side, once again, just ignoring Eureka completely. Do we have new enemies? We do! This is a Medusa. This is a Gamori. Okay. I will take Gamori. 
Let's go for Thundaga. Um, yeah, go for Aroga. And then you attack. Should be enough to finish the job on this thing. Should be enough. I would think. I'm hoping. Especially with that critical. Go, critical! Almost max damage. Yes, the Thundaga should finish her. I'm gonna go with her. Off. No! Aroga must come in and finish the job. Down. It goes. Okay, so we need to keep going now, but first off, we get 7,000 gil and 150 experience. No levels up or anything like that. We need to go over to the right side, just completely ignoring Eureka for now. Because we're done in there. We're done. And we get Lilith's Kiss in there. And then we need to head back this way to find more new enemies. What do we have? These are blocks. Awesome. I'm gonna try to burn them. And then, uh, you need to, like, cure. That'd be great. Go blocks. Die blocks. Yeah, one's enough to take him down. Oh, not enough there. Cure goes off because uh, I do need to cure a little bit because people did level up. And yeah, just a little cure. Nothing too bad. Go, Fireaga! This should be enough to take out that one there. Will it be able to take out the other one as well? No. Oh, we didn't even take out the first one. He's a summon. What the hell? Come, come! How dare you summon come, come! What the hell is wrong with you guys? Go Quake, go Aroga. Uh, we'll we'll have time to use the the higher level stuff some other time. They summoned to come, come! How dare they! How dare they! Go Aroga! That did fuck all. <laughs> These guys are strong against magic, apparently. Oh, it's a floating enemy. Damn it, I forgot. There we go. Max damage is enough to take that. Don't you dare summon. Thank you for not summoning. You guys can just all attack this last block, and it should die. As long as you get to it before it summons again. Yeah, down it goes. What the hell was going on there? But for that battle, we get 8,565 ex uh, not experience. We get Gil for that, 8500 experience, so right around there. Levels up for Abel and Novin. Job level up for Novin and Bloom as well. From here, I believe we want to actually head right. And then over here we find more treasure. We get an Elven Bow, which would be awesome if I had anybody that could use it. And a Chocobo's Wrath. Awesome. We need to head down here. I see more treasure see more treasure every which way I go. Okay, there's no way that pillar extended that far. Do we have new enemies? We have... Isn't this like the djinn? It isn't... It is Azar. I'm tired of using the ta uh, magic. Just attack him. He should die very quickly, shouldn't he? 6,800 damage there. 319 very valuable damage. 819 there, but really Sacrum's going to be the one that might finish him off. Is this going to be enough? No, and he gets a couple attacks off. Oh, shit. Should have used magic. Ah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'll probably have to use the uh, Elder Staff as an item in battle from now on. Down it goes, thanks to a beating with his rod from Novin. We get 7,400 gil, 3,300 experience, and a black hole, which is awesome. Let's go grab this down here. We get a white musk that deals holy damage, if you guys remember. And then over here, we get Chocobo's Wrath. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like we will have to continue our journey through the Crystal Tower next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy III. I've been Bowler Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Luna, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.